Greetings. This is Frater Ralph with Temple of the Infinite Universe Radio. And in this broadcast, I am <laughs> admittedly doing a test run. I'm getting used to the, the uh, Spreaker uh, format. I've had this account for some time, and I've recently upgraded it because in my previous tests with Spreaker, I have found the sound quality to be very good compared with the other service I was using. And so I'm thinking that for the quality and for the cost, uh, it is a format that I'm probably more likely to use in the future uh, than not. So this is a test run to make sure I know how to use the uh, features correctly. And for this test, I'm going to be doing a reading of a pamphlet known as The Golden Key. The Golden Key is a pamphlet that was written by Dr. Emmett Fox. And I'm not exactly sure of the date of composition, but uh, I do know here that Emmett Fox lived from 1886 until 1951. And before I read the, uh, the Golden Key, I would like to read a little biography of uh, Dr. Emmett Fox, who was a New Thought minister and a very influential speaker thinker and writer within the early New Thought movement. And this bio that I will be reading is taken from EmmettFox.net, a site which is maintained by the Emmett Fox Resource Center. Dr. Emmett Fox was a minister, author, teacher, healer, and mystic. Emmett Fox, probably more than any other New Thought leader, has influenced more people simply because, in his day, he attracted wider audiences than anyone else for longer periods of time. To this day, Emmett Fox is read more widely and is understood more clearly than any other New Thought writer. Closet readers of Dr. Fox can be found in the Episcopal, Catholic, Baptist, and Methodist churches, among others. His objective as a New Thought teacher has always been not to establish yet another religion, not to establish yet another set of religious doctrines, but to encourage individuals, whether they attend church or not, to develop their own creative power and to personally understand what God is, and what God is all about, and then to be able to relate that to their own lives. In his day, and to this day, Emmett Fox reached more people because he had a talent to speak and write with great clarity, and in a very dynamic way. His message was simple and direct. He said, sooner or later, you will have to put God first in your life. God must become the only thing that really matters. It need not be, and better not be, the only thing in your life, but it must be the first thing. He said, When that happens, your life becomes simple, richer, and infinitely, infinitely more worthwhile. He brought new meaning to millions of people around the globe, with his golden keys of health, inner peace, and success. In 1931, he became the pastor of the Holy of the Church of the Healing Christ in New York City, founded by Dr. W. John Murray in 1906, and was called the First Church of Divine Science in New York City. He was ordained as a divine science minister by Dr. Nona Brooks. This was the beginning of one of the most remarkable ministries in America. His Sunday morning lectures at the Hippodrome Theater, the Manhattan Opera House, and Carnegie Hall were attended by over 5,000 people. His meditations were powerful, and his sermons never lasted more than 20 minutes. He spoke to and of God in the most personal and intimate terms. Over 600,000 copies of his book, Sermon on the Mount, have been distributed 
and are still widely popular today. It is in this remarkable book that he reveals a source of universal power that is rightly yours. This power, states Dr. Fox, is the real source of all things that exist. It needs only to flow into your being and transform itself into health, into true prosperity, into inspiration, or into anything else you may be needing. The power is there. It is present everywhere. It belongs to nobody in particular because it belongs to all. It is waiting at all times for men and women to call it into use, not merely in crisis, but in every problem, however small every day of your life. The fact that most people do not suspect the existence of this power does not change the fact that it is there, says Dr. Fox. Remember that hardly anyone except a few philosophers suspected the existence of electricity or the power of steam until a few generations ago, and then these things were brought into the service of men and women and have transformed the world. The laws of nature were just the same then as they are now, only people did not know that such a force existed, and so they had to go without. I believe many of the limitations and difficulties that people take for granted will be things of the past. In this book, Emmett Fox gives the keys to success in life by tapping into the realm of infinite power. He teaches that mankind is a child of the perfect God. Over one half million copies of Power Through Constructive Thinking are in circulation. It can be conservative, conservatively estimated that the books and pamphlets he has written have come into the hands of tens of millions of people. His booklet, The Golden Key, which I will read shortly, has topped all sales of New Thought books worldwide and continues to be the most sought after booklet in his collection of writings. Dr. Fox was born in Ireland, raised in England, ministered in America, and made his transition into the infinite in France. The theme of his teachings is life is consciousness, and we are what we think. He emphasized that if we want to change our life, we must change our thoughts first. We set forth our own destiny by our thoughts, words, and actions. That there is only one presence and power in the universe, God, and all else is an illusion. He gave us the golden key. Love is by far the most important thing of all, he said. It is the golden gate of paradise. Pray for the understanding of love and meditate upon it daily. It casts out fear. It is the fulfilling of the law. Love is absolute invincibility. Emmett Fox left a mark. Life has been richer for hundreds of thousands of people because he lived. He built his church on consciousness, knowing that God, however you know him or her or it, is instantly available and everywhere present. Like Peter, he built his church upon a rock, the rock of understanding that God is the only power and the only presence. And now, with any further ado, The Golden Key by Emmett Fox. Scientific prayer will enable you to get yourself or anyone else out of any difficulty. It is the golden key to harmony and happiness. To those who have no acquaintance with the mightiest power in existence, this may appear to be a rash claim, but it needs only a fair trial to prove that, without a shadow of doubt, it is a just one. You need take no one's word for it, and you should not. 
Simply try it for yourself. God is omnipotent, and we are God's image and likeness, and have dominion over all things. This is the inspired teaching, and it is intended to be taken literally, at its face value. The ability to draw on this power is not the special prerogative of the mystic or the saint, as is so often supposed, or even of the highly trained practitioner. Everyone has this ability, whoever you are, wherever you may be. The golden key to harmony is in your hand right now. This is because in scientific prayer, it is God who works and not you. And so your particular limitations or weaknesses are of no account in the process. You are only the channel through which the divine action takes place, and your treatment will be just the getting of yourself out of the way. Beginners often get startling results the first time, for all that is essential is to have an open mind and sufficient faith to try the experiment. Apart from that, you may hold any views on religion or none. As for the actual method of working, like all fundamental things, it is simplicity itself. All you have to do is this. Stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about God instead. This is the complete rule, and if only you will do this, the trouble, whatever it is, will disappear. It makes no difference what kind of trouble it is. It might be a big thing or a little thing. It may concern health, finance, a lawsuit, a quarrel, an accident, or anything else conceivable. But whatever it is, stop thinking about it and think of God instead. That is all you have to do. It could not be simpler, could it? God could scarcely have made it simpler, and yet it never fails to work when given a fair trial. Do not try to form a picture of God which is impossible. Work by rehearsing anything or everything that you know about God. God is wisdom, truth, inconceivable love. God is present everywhere, has infinite power knows everything, and so on. It matters not how well you may think you understand these things. Go over them repeatedly. But you must stop thinking of the trouble, whatever it is. The rule is to think about God. If you are thinking about your difficulty, you are not thinking about God. To be continually glancing over your shoulder in order to see how matters are progressing is fatal, because it is thinking of the trouble, and you must think of God and nothing else. Your object is to drive the thought of the difficulty out of your consciousness, for a few minutes at least, substituting for it the thought of God. This is the crux of the whole thing. If you can become so absorbed in this consideration, of the spiritual world that you forget for a time about the difficulty, you will find that you are safely and comfortably out of your difficulty, that your demonstration is made. In order to golden key a troublesome person or a difficult situation, think, now I am going to golden key John or Mary or that threatened danger, then proceed to drive all thought of John or Mary or the danger out of your mind, replacing it with the thought of God. By working in this way about a person, you are not seeking to influence his or her conduct in any way, except that you prevent him or her from injuring or annoying you, and you do him nothing but good. Thereafter, 
He or she is certain to be in some degree a better, wiser, and more spiritual person, just because you have golden keyed the person. A pending lawsuit or other difficulty would probably fade out harmlessly without coming to a crisis, justice being done to all parties concerned. If you find that you can do this very quickly, you may repeat the operation several times a day, with intervals between. Be sure, however, each time you have done it, that you drop all thought of the matter until the next time. This is important. We have said that the golden key is simple, and so it is. But of course, it is not always easy to turn. If you are very frightened or worried, at first it may be difficult to get your thoughts away from material things. But by constantly repeating a statement of absolute truth, such as, There is no power but God. I am the child of God, filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. Or perhaps the best and simplest of all, God is with me. However mechanical or trite it may seem, you will soon find that the treatment has begun to take, and that your mind is clearing. Do not struggle violently. Be quiet. Be insistent. Each time you find your attention wandering, switch it back to God. Do not try to think in advance what the solution to your difficulty will be. This is called outlining and will only delay the demonstration. Leave the question of ways and means to God. You want to get out of your difficulty, and that is sufficient. You do your half, and God will never fail to do God's. And of course, in this reading, written I think sometime in the 1930s, Emmett Fox uses the language of his day. In that reading, I did try to use more inclusive language. And he had no qualms about using the word God. And I realize for some listeners, that word may be a loaded term. But when you read The Golden Key for yourself, and this pamphlet is freely available on the internet, it is in the public domain and is available in PDF, PDF format, in many different locations. So when you read the golden key for yourself, feel free to substitute the word God with any other term that you are comfortable with. Uh, it could be higher power, God, goddess, wisdom, whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever works for you. So that was the golden key by Dr. Emmett Fox. I'm going to close out by playing a musical clip. Uh, this is Bone Shaker by Mojo Radio. And uh, I will be coming back to you later. This has been a service of the Temple of the Infinite Universe, an interfaith spiritual outreach located in Wheatland, Missouri. To find us on the web, go to www.hermetictemple.com. Okay, this is why I call it a test. <laughs> I have no idea if my music is playing or not. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to close this out now. <laughs> I apologize for the uh, interruption here, but uh, you have a blessed day. I will figure this system out sometime, and I will be back with you tomorrow morning. So, you take care. Until next, we meet again. So long.